they get there and they're like, uh, and he can, at the end of the ceremony when they're doing all the raffles, they end up calling, yeah. it's like, uh, I'm fairly horrible. sure he's an abused and underprivileged dog. What we got here? Looks like it's a, a Power Hobby LCG chassis, carbon fiber. Um, what is it? The Injura purple 50 turn motor with the Injura transmission. Um, DSM axle <laughs> and skid plate, stock rear axle. Um, V2 Electronics, stock nice. battery, Emax Servo, nice. just an aluminum steering link, uh, Injora Ford body, nice. yeah. 3D printed front high clearance links, high uh, hot racing rear, and then Injora um, drive shafts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a cobbled together bunch of different pieces. Gotcha. <laughs> Is this your favorite rig? It's kind of becoming it, you know. It's a very cool rig. I didn't expect it to be what it became. Um, those are Mofo one-up rims, and then those are the Injura. Uh, everybody calls them the Chirax. They're one of their funky, long, weird names. Gotcha. <laughs> I remember seeing it up on the hill right there. You said it was a champ. What happened? Um, we have a comp once a month here. Okay. And we have a Stanley Cup style trophy okay. where you win it for the month. Yeah. And then you come back next month and you defend it with the same rig. Um, you can't change your rig at all. It has to be the identical gotcha. to the same that you won the trophy with. Uh -huh. And you get your name put on the back of it. Yeah. We call it the Rock Wolf Invitational. Nice. <laughs> and 
Stanley Cup style, your initials go on there when you win it. Ooh. So that's the cup for the champ right, right here. <laughs> yeah, you know. And as the course grows, it changes. I mean, it's not the same course usually each month. Because yeah. I've been expanding and so changing things. Is he going to win next one or what? <laughs> we'll see who shows up. <laughs> we have quite a few people. Uh, there's probably 20 people or so throughout the state here. They're part of the Michigan Crawler crew. It's just a chat group there on Insta or on uh, Facebook Messenger. Corey is joined, of course. And there's a whole lot of other people on there. Yeah. And people come when they can. And I keep everybody informed when we're going to have a count. That is a tough line to come up there. Yeah, the, the tire wants to yeah. pull it off that way. Yeah, we have everything going on down here. Just tossing that rear end around. How much time you got in this layout so far? Oh, jeez. Uh, it's kind of hard to say because, you know, it's been over the last, say, three years that I've been... Like, I started with that course over, that foam course there, and then I did this one. So I did the Wolf's Den over there. Mm. It was my first course, yeah. and I did all this. It's on a 4x4 four four sheet, and it's basically three layers. You've got caves, and then the lower, and then the upper levels. And then I built a different foam course, and then another one. And <laughs> nice. But then when I decided to move down here... It's been probably the last four or five months that I've been gotcha. building the benches and whatnot. I've got another bench, or I've got all the pieces I need to build another one of these. Mm -hmm. And so once I do that, well, then this will be changing yet again. Yeah. We'll get a different layout. I like it. It looks good. Yeah, we're getting there. It's, you know, like I said, I'm going to get to where it's like the reactive terrain. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm going to use some of their techniques. Um, I like, like one of the things they like to do is they put in dirt and rocks and stuff that shift and move. And I really like that because that's, you know, even more scale, you know, and more realistic. So we'll be getting there little by little. And I want to go through a, a range of terrains when I build it. So going from... Well, we're in Michigan, so we pull out of Michigan, and then head into like the Appalachia Mountains, Kentucky, Tennessee, whatnot, and then we'll head over to the Rockies, and then down to Moab, so we've got smooth rock. Oh, that's feared by many. I just did. But that truck handles everything. Really. It does. So. It's like the only thing I can think of is it probably needs a little bit more front weight. Yeah. That's it. That's that mean just to give it a little bit front ways, but weight binds. But it just I don't it think it just I've works. It yet, so I, yeah, it's just it just works. It's got enough dropout, it's got just enough flux without being too much to hang a tire down too low and get hung up. Tires are just right for it. Yeah, just a real smooth driver. Yeah, so it's so weird because I'm not used to driving anything handling that doesn't have four-wheel steering. Everything I've had has had four-wheel steering. Oh. So. So you're not used to the drag axle. Yeah, it's weird trying to, like, I can't turn that tight. <laughs> that doesn't do too bad for being one of these. Start to cut. You push into that. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. Side if you don't start too soon. With my uh, other you don't Jeep. Start yeah. I was like, what the? It always because the, what's what you find down below the holes and just the way it's laid out. It'll push you. Yeah, I got points for wolves if you hit wolves. Yeah, you can't hit the wolf. Only the cubs. Or the pup is fifty. <laughs> Everybody else is five and then goes up five, ten, fifteen each time you hit them a second, third, fourth. I don't know what it is. It's that back uh, tires, the back tires, it's always about aligning those back tires going up. That I've side. never had a 
brush motor had this much control lately. So everything I've ever had that was brushed was just garbage on the bottom end. Dude. And this just feels good. Because it, it, it's probably the best combination you can get in 24 scale brush. And that's a V2 Electronics with a Torque Beast. A Mofo Torque Beast. It's got just that, those two together give you a very smooth controlled drive. Actually what we do uh, when we're running this on the course usually what you end up with is you'll come across around you'll come down you're gonna come down the big hill down here you're gonna miss this wolf hiding right here. So you don't want to start your left turn too soon. Yep, just come on around. Yeah, this was my first course. Yeah. And I almost got to say, and a lot of people have said that this is a really awesome person. I like I, it. I, it's, it's the e hit the wall. You're going to leave this right. This is the, yeah, I'm going to always retain this. Okay. Sure. This will always be part of it. Yeah, it, it, you know, I don't know how I managed it, but I pulled off a really great course from the first one. <laughs> As, like, somebody must have been guiding the hand. You put a lot of thought in it. I put a bit of thought. Yeah, I, I did put a bit of thought in it. But, you but, know, I, I hope I look like can. <laughs> <laughs> the cam came out of place. <clears throat> oh, wow. A couple of them have come out. I'm gonna have to get in here with some hot glue. There you go. All right. That was like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I mean, that didn't yeah, fun. the Kodiak steps. I used Kodiak cans to make these steps here, and uh, apparently, time has taken its toll. There's a couple of them that come loose. Yeah, yeah that one's out. going. <laughs> that one. Just that made it up. Yeah. Now there's a new cave. <laughs>